So shortly after getting my Ionic 5, I had the front and rear Hyundai badge removed. And this was the next step for me, was getting it wrapped. So I went with Ceramic Pro, uh, the matte PPF to protect the paint, but the outcome was phenomenal. Looks great, uh, easy to maintain, and very happy with it. Shout out to EV Vita for the really nice looking uh, dark wood grain finish here that you can add. Uh, I got the whole kit, so it's everywhere. It's the door handles, uh, yeah, at front and back, even side door here. But really, after putting it on, gives uh, gives the car a nice premium look. So this next one is EV Vita's LED light. So, damn, that just looks sharp. But yeah. Definitely adds a lot of character to the car. So if you have the Ionic 5 Limited model with the Bose speakers, this is one of the best upgrades you can make, is this plug-and-play amp uh, sold by a Norwegian company uh, they have set this thing up to literally be plug-and-play with their own uh, specific cord that comes with it and so very easy to set up but ultimately provides a ton more power to your Bose speakers to where you're really getting out of your speakers what it should have been to begin with uh, so has helped tremendously with the sound without having to replace uh, all the speakers just having that extra power does a world of difference They've, they're also great because customer service is awesome. You just have to reach out to them via email for shipping to the U.S., but they provide like a front and back step-by-step -step instruction. There's no nuts or bolts. Uh, just basically pop up this plastic piece in the back seat and then uh, reach under, pull out those cords, plug it into the new cord that they send, and it's up and running in less than an hour or so. Really love this, highly recommend it. I'll show you what it looks like in the back. So as you can see, here's where I have it mounted is behind the seats. And there's kind of that little small recessed area there where it sits nicely. Um, I just have some Velcro holding that in place there. And then the cable that it comes with runs here and then underneath the seat. Um, but definitely well worth it. So in my previous video I shared how uh, I like to keep this area clear of cords, so I've routed uh, the cords from the back USBs here and have this little magnet clip that clips in the side, so if I need a USB-C cord, it's here, but I don't have the clutter here in this area. And then I've added these LED lights here, um, and these can change colors, so there's a little button on them, you can hold it down to whatever color you want. In daylight, uh, they turn off automatically, but come on at nighttime or once it's dark. So, um, but definitely adds a lot of light to this area and kind of matches the, uh, the color that I, I set up for the, the mood lighting in the car as well. So for us in the U.S., we don't get some of the features in other countries, so you'll find these blank buttons where there should be a button there, but it has no function and no label. So I have a couple more here, but uh, added my own labels here. So you can find these on Etsy, link in the description. But uh, I've got my missile launcher and my ejection seat. So uh, they look pretty sharp. They look like they're supposed to be there, but uh, just adds a nice little touch. So just kind of a fun way to deal with those folks that uh, when you pull up to a EA station, uh, you find a gas vehicle parked in the designated EV spot. Uh, and you're unable to charge. So uh, this is just a nice little fun prank for them uh, that I have actually, sadly, I wish I didn't have to use these, but sadly I've had to prank a few people. So as you look at it, you can already probably tell right away there's no such thing as some city and TM is not a state. And even as you look at the finer details, uh, there you can tell right away, okay, this is definitely a prank. But at first glance, they look very legit. Um, but even if just for a few seconds they think that they just received a $250 parking ticket, it's well worth it. 
So I go through the trouble of filling out their license plate, their make, their model, and then I go to box 30 and I check that one and then I write a nice little description about how they are parked uh, illegally in a EV parking designated spot, even though it's not illegal, but, uh, and then I sign it, date it, and put it on their windshield. Um, so it's all in fun, but maybe next time they'll think uh, twice before parking into an electric vehicle spot. So in my last video, I was using AA Wireless for wireless Android Auto, which is great, works flawlessly, um, but I've upgraded to this CarLink at T-Box Plus. Um, this is a great device. I've tried a couple other boxes, but this one seems to be the most reliable. I've got a Verizon SIM in it, uh, and then customized it a little bit. So I've got the Nova Launcher going here uh, with my own icon pack so I can it literally add any app I want from the Google Play Store. So if I'm charging, um, I might be watching YouTube TV or uh, watching YouTube videos. But most importantly, uh, I've also got reliable Android Auto wireless too. So this works beautifully. Um, so, I mean, it's a perfect match is when I'm driving, wireless Android Auto works great. But when I'm parked, charging, sitting, um, I could literally run any media app I want, any video, anything like that. Uh, literally anything that's on the Google Play Store. So it, this was a very nice upgrade for me uh, and it's worked absolutely flawlessly. So if you saw my previous video, I had a MagSafe mount that didn't provide any sort of wireless charging or anything like that. It was just a place where I could comfortably um, put my phone but uh, upgraded that now. And so I've got, this is actually a uh, MagSafe wireless charging bank that I picked up on Amazon pretty reasonably. And then uh, I have a magnet there that works really well with MagSafe. And on the back here, just added this adhesive MagSafe ring. And so this holds it nice and sturdy here. But then instead of just mounting my phone, now it's actually fast wireless charging. Uh, without having to deal with the mess of routing cords or finding a, a spare USB slot to, to plug it into. So really love this. It's been a great solution. And on the go, I can just take it off, put it on my phone if I need, uh, if I need to continue charging when I'm away from the car. So this next one's handy just for extra storage um, because as I've shared before, I utilize my glove compartment for my Yeti day pack, but this, uh, the brand is called Heart. They actually just sell it, I think it's like 20 bucks at Walmart. But nice little storage solution for uh, all your smaller items that you carry around um, and hardly noticeable. So, um, you know, if somebody's looking from the outside, uh, you won't really see it. It's noticeable obviously in the light, but uh, blends in really well with the floor here. So. Nice little way to keep some extra storage in the car um, without taking up any additional space, um, but having everything I need.